What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Newcastle United career mode. Let's get into it, guys. Now, what a fortnight we have ahead of us. Now, we do have a match against Newcastle and a match against Bayern Munich in today's episode. And I did show you that because I did play my youth squad against Everton. Because, to be quite frank, the match against Bayern Munich needs to have my full starting 11. I do want to rest everyone as, as much as possible. We have one over Andrecht and we have one over CSK of Moscow. So if we could get some sort of points out of Bayern, I don't believe we're going to get three. We'd probably luckily get a draw. Even if we do get a loss, we've already won two of our matches. And I just really want to focus on the Champions League. I want to get out of the group. I want to get to the knockout rounds. And uh, see how we go from there. I don't think we'll get past the round of 16. I reckon, we'll, I don't know. We could go further, but we'll have to see um, about that. So I am playing with my youth side for the start. Uh, Bigger Romana starts off the first highlight. He has his shot off in the rain. Maybe if it was a clear, dry day, he might have capitalized on that. But guys, just want to quickly recap the last episode. We ended up winning 1-0 over CSK of Moscow. Uh, it was Suzoko to pick up the one goal on that match. Later on in the episode, we had a Premier League match against Liverpool. And what a match that was. We ended up winning 3-1 over Liverpool. Absolutely fantastic performance from the lads. Uh, Jovetic, Lasoga, and Cabela ended up picking up goals in that match. Now, I did actually start with Lasoga because he was kind of upstep because I did actually sign him for a crucial first-team player. That was honestly because I thought I was going to play him as that. And obviously, we haven't really played with him all that much. Like I said previously in many episodes, I don't really want to change the good dy dy the dynamic that Cabela and Jovetic have going forward. And also to Rat and Antonio Graithsman on the wings. So um, whether or not we do sell him in January, we'll have to see. But I did want to give him a couple of matches uh, to see. But we have a match against Bayern Munich. And uh, quite surprisingly, they actually picked up a draw uh, against a club. So I, I was quite befuddled uh, to see. I couldn't actually see who they did it against. I'm sure you could work it out. But uh, we are versing Bayern Munich away at the Allianz Arena. So I guess we're versing Bayern Munich now. I'm hoping we can get out of the group. But I guess we won't be able to play them in the round of 16 because we've already played them in the group. So I guess we've got that going for us. But uh, what, this is the side we are feel, uh, feedi, f feeding, filming? Fuck me. Fielding. But Bayern Munich obviously have a fantastic, solid side. And obviously they did sign Tim Krull, who didn't even make the team. Not even on the substitutions. And I totally forgot that they have um, Pepe Reina. So I have no idea why they even signed him. So they are playing a 3-4 a one, two, which is quite interesting. They are playing a three at the back formation. They are kind of daring. I'm obviously going with the stock standard, solid, same team. One Yama and Suzuka will be dropping back. Um, Yang and Biwa and Stones will be as well. But to start off the first highlight, Jovetic manages to fire one straight at the goalkeeper and the corner kick didn't really amount to anything. Neuer, the best goalkeeper in the game, managed to save quite comfortably. But unfortunately, from the neutral perspective, uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger managed to pick up a injury, which is not good at all. But Jovetic manages to find Cabela, and what a near post OP goal to score at Bayern Munich. What a goal from the little Frenchman, and Jovetic and him just worked so well to rat with the free kick. But look at that. He managed like, to hit it on the drop kick. It was not like a drop kick punt off the ground. It was fantastic stuff to put it past Neuer. And to be quite honest, I was really quite surprised. It actually dipped really far down exceptionally quickly. But we're obviously versing Bayern Munich. Robert Lewandowski manages to whip it in. It was actually kind of a bad pass. But Robert manages to find Muller. A solid save by Langerak. And he manages to throw it to Cabela. But Bayern Munich were back on the attack. They managed to find Rubri. And Rubri nearly didn't get the shot off by... I don't really know how we didn't get that clear. But I'm sure Bayern Munich did deserve to get that goal. Or at least get something from that chance. And it was Thomas Muller to uh, score one past Langrak. And it was, it was, I'm sure it was interesting for Langrak to be versing a Bundesliga side, sending he did play for uh, Borussia Dortmund. But he should be saving them type of goals. Robin on the ball in a very dangerous position finds Robert Lewandowski. And Robert Lewandowski, just before half time makes it 
two, one. So that shining light at the end of the tunnel is starting to disappear from Cabela's goal. But hey, what are you going to do? We are versing Bayern Munich, and I was expecting to get no more than uh, a, a draw or a loss in this match. Antonio Greatsman with the finesse couldn't seem to get anything, but Jovetic on the ball manages to find Tarat with a first shot, and this is probably one of the best goals I have scored in FIFA 15. Adele Tarat with the bicycle kick, top left-hand corner, and if that... That totally deserved to go in. Look at the commitment from Tarat. And he actually hit the post as well. Put his full body into it. And puts it into the top left to make it 2-2 against Bayern Munich. Which is absolutely fantastic in this. And I'm sure Neuer was absolutely pissed in that. So guys, I was parking the bus in this episode. I really wanted to get draw and get some sort of points against Bayern, but uh, Robin makes it he doesn't make it 3-2. He was offside and I was absolutely gutted when he scored. I was like, oh no he scored it! But Bayern Munich was still trying to get one back from Adele Tarat's fantastic equaliser. Robin's feeding it to uh, Robert Lewandowski. He whips it into, I think that was Botang or it might have been Alaba and Alaba was trying to get it in as well. Cabela manages to get fouled, but we do end up drawing 2-2 against Bayern, and we actually get the achievement, park the bus, so that is a proof that I am playing on Legendary, and uh, I, that was actually the first time I've actually needed to use park the bus, I didn't have to, I've never used it in my Real Madrid or my Manchester United career, but I really wanted to, I actually Park the bus, and I've got an achievement there, which is cool to see as well. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video, support this series and my channel, and I will be bringing out more FIFA 15 career mode tomorrow for you guys, so stay tuned for that. This has been Simsy, and I will see you guys later. Thanks a bunch. Goodbye.